What's going on guys, it's your boy Beats Bash, back at it again with another banger. And today we're going to our local OPO4 pre-release. I'm um, not sh too sure about the name of the set. I am sure of all the bombs I'm gonna pull in my pre-release deck. Um, honestly, I'm not too familiar with all the cards in this set, but I kind of wanted to take that upon myself because I wanted it to be more fun. Um, honestly, I think it's better just to go in blind to these events because you're going to get more enjoyment out of initially opening the packs and like building the deck. If you have ever been to one of these events before, then you would know that you're getting about like 15 extra cards that will not be included in your deck. So for the most part, these events aren't about how to build the best deck. It's about taking out the cards that you don't want to have in your deck. And I think that just kind of speaks for itself. We do have a new promo card um, for the winner, winner of this tournament, which is going to be a new Luffy card. So that's pretty cool. Hopefully we can open up some bomb packs for the channel, baby. I hope you guys enjoy the video and we will see you when we get to the store. What's up guys, we're here at Dice Addiction, um, about to go down with the OPO4 pre-release. And we have an unsuspecting challenger over here. The man, the myth, the What's legend, Carrie, the best player in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I don't know if I claim that, but I appreciate it's okay. your enthusiasm. Everyone will remember him when he beats me in round one. Let's go, son. Let's go. Kicking the door down I'm going in. Page. Boom, boom, boom. Hello. Uh, one piece. Alright. Did you already buy a ticket online? Yeah. Alright. Remind me of your name? John Ashby. I should be under the VIP list. <laughs> VIP. That was on you. There was a proper opportunity and you didn't accept it. All right, guys, we are officially at Dice Addiction. I'm here with Aokar, aka the big whale. Okay, and because uh, and because the boy is whaling, we have two booster boxes for you guys to see us open today. So why don't you go ahead and get into the packs, and I'll shame you for how much money you spent. Okay, I'll start the packs because he's ashamed for how much money he spent. Okay, fuck you. All right, guys, first pack we've got Ice Oni. Tony Tony Chopper, good in the animal deck. Daddy Masterson. Tom, the big homie. Merry Christmas. Viola, the waifu. A useless event. Oh, I see a shiny. Jack. Kazuki. Fat guy. Event. Oh my god, Sugar, the most broken green card aside of Dofi. This card is literally insane. Alright, All right, it's your so time. Stop Pack battle. A lot of commons there. You, got, you want to announce them? Oh my god, my favorite card. I love this card so much. <laughs> we got a rare? Oh my god. One of the only viable red cards this set. Will we pull the manga rare? Okay, Do Flamingo. Let's go. And a Frankie and a Dawn. A Dopey and a Dawn. See this right here? That's what we commonly call the whistle. And oh my god. We're literally crazy, boys. Iceberg? And Sanji, or he badly needed that guy. That's insane. Sanji blockers broken. Oh my god, we got Croc, my new favorite leader. Toy Soldier is literally crazy, bro. Oh, and the second dawn. Okay. See it. Rebecca, that's a good card. Into a Ooh, Sabo. Sabo. Open. All right, back to me, chat. I'm, I'm calling it right here. I'm about to outdo the whale. Fat guy. And finally, the one we've all been waiting for. Yellow Yamato. Nine Let's go. Yamato. That's good that card's crazy. Kitty Luffy. Queen. Ooh. Another Yamato. That's nice. This is a really good card. That's how the sports guy does. Oh, that's an Oh my gosh. I need you to smash the like button. That'd be crazy. And if I he believe. doesn't pull a manga, double smash the like button. No. Okay, no manga. Everyone must double smash the like button on this video because we need to increase the budget to buy more packs so we can pull the manga, okay? <laughs> Overall, a pretty good box, honestly. Let's go over the plunders. You're the whale, so hold up the plunders. Uh, I'll hold the harpoon. Starting off with um, double Don. Um, and then we have the double Yamato, that's pretty good. Got one Sabo, one Pell, 
one Sugar, one Sanji, and the 110 dropped off. Uh, overall, pretty good SRs. And for the alt arts, we got the Big Daddy Crocodile backdrop of this artwork. I love that with all of the members. I like that they're reprinting like old cards that are actually like usable. Rather the wanted posters that were just mid on cards no one really wanted. This is actually like a fan favorite. So i um, excited to see this. And I love the direction they went with the artwork. Okay, we got two more packs for you guys. Uh, dash pack. What is a dash pack? Basically just a reprint of an old card. Here's hoping for Shira Hoshi. Oh, oh my god! The one good He's card. He's literally crazy, bro. The one good card. Let him know. Smash the like button to let him know that we're nice like that. All right. The first card. Oh, uh, play shot. I mean, play playground. Shot. Uh, playgrounds, that's a decent card. Um, if you want to go this route with the deck, I think it's decent. And our second card. Chi Jiao! That's mid. Let's go. Let's go. Shout out all the sure, mid boys. She's good, ben, though. this is a black card. You got to put this in your deck. Put it on Ben. Hello, sir. I'm here with the emergency one piece relief fund. I have a free prize for you. I know you've been hurting, and so you need a chin jow. This card's terrible. You're not even reading it. One Piece players don't read. It has super free release. You need it in your deck. So we just finished up that box. The tournament is now about to begin. Um, and we're going to go ahead and update you guys with the polls after we get through the deck building process. So make sure to stay tuned. If it isn't the man who stopped my dreams and ended my tournament run too soon, what do you have to say for yourself? Yamato best deck. Fuck your Yamato. But I do have something for you. It is the cards that are actually yours, and they're still in my deck. If it wasn't for this man, I wouldn't have a high rarity Rush Soro, which allowed me to sack my opponents in the following two rounds. All right, guys, so we just got our entry pricing. So in this event, we're going to have six packs of Kingdoms of Strength. We get our one pre-release pack, which is any two cards from the set that uncommon or common, and they come with a pre-release stamp, so it's always nice. Then we have the promo Monkey D. Luffy, and... How this is going to work is we're going to open these six packs and we're going to build a deck out of them to go against other players. So this is a really great event to be a part of if you're just joining the game because it means you're going to be on a level playing field with other people who already have pre-built decks. And it's also a great way just to increase your knowledge of how to judge cards, which is something I find very important for becoming a better deck builder. So if anything, you should definitely try to take part in one of these or make one on your own, just so you become a better all-around deck builder and can better develop your skills as a one-piece card game player. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and start off by opening up these six packs and seeing how many playables we have. So first things first, I'm gonna sort these out by 2Ks as well as blockers, because you wanna play as many of those as possible. So in this pack, we have a Diable Jambe Joe Shot. Um, this is a three cost 6K counter, which is really good in this format. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't look like there are any 2Ks in this pack. Overall, this is kind of a medium pack. Typically, like the search events we don't wanna play. Um, we have a five cost 6K. That's definitely playable because it has a counter. But we do have an actual real blocker in the form of Yokozuna. We're definitely going to be playing that card. And we've got another Diable Jambe uh, Joe Shot, which is definitely playable. And we picked up our first 2K, which is Baby 5. Definitely going to be playing that. And we got ourselves the alternate art Dawn. Very nice card. Other than that, we have a 5 drop 7K. A very good stat line in this set. We also have a 3 cost 5k that definitely meets the stat line requirements. Other than that, this pack is pretty underwhelming. Okay, we got Banana Gator, a 5 cost 7k, definitely playing that. 5 cost 6k might make it into our deck. I'm separating these into uh, playables um, uh, automatically right now, and then we'll sort them when we need to cut things out by uh, what is a potential cut. So we got another 2k here in Mr. 13. Definitely a pretty good card. Oh, we actually got two 2ks in this pack. That's really good. And our first alt art of the set, alt art Sanji. This card is a four cost 5K with a 1K counter and the blocker ability. So it's definitely an amazing card in draft. Checking all those boxes, being a blocker and a attacker that doesn't require you to sacrifice any offense. And I'm definitely excited about this pull. Let me know what you guys think about this card. I think this is one of the um, better artworks of Sanji so far. So we have a total of nine three cost uh, characters. Definitely this deck is way better going first than second. 
Um, and then in terms of 2Ks, I actually drafted a total of one, two, three, four, five, and six dedicated 2Ks. Bartolomeo is also a blocker, so he's very versatile. Then we have a total of three dedicated blockers. Sanji is actually a really good aggressive card, so nothing bad there. This deck has a lot of defense. Um, we have a total of six events, so this is pretty um, event heavy compared to other decks I've drafted before. And then moving on to our uh, two drops, we have a total of two copies of Igoram. In terms of the four cost characters, we have a total of four, and we have a total of seven five cost characters. To finish off the top end, we have a total of three six cost 8Ks. So overall, um, I think this deck is a little bit lackluster in the low curve cards because um, a lot of our early drops are gonna be very under average in terms of playables, but we do have a lot of defense, so I definitely think there's some potential to win here. And definitely gonna be playing the kid leader in this deck um, over the Zoro, just because our deck does not have those key low drops but that's it for the deck overview. I'm going to help my friend build his deck, um, and I'll check back with you after the matches are over and see how we all did. Big man Luis, what cards did you get of value? I got the Kairos. Okay. Badass card, man. Hit me up on the DMs. I'll sell it to you for the low. How do you feel opening your first ever pack of One Piece cards? It's exciting, man. Listen, if you, if you, if you haven't played in your life, man, it is a good feeling. Get into it. Mr. Cameraman, show us off the deck. What did you pull, sir? Honestly, I have no clue what I pulled. That's a cool card. Yamato, Hell. I heard that's pretty good. Show us what we really came here to see, sir. What is the god pull today? The god pull today was an altar queen. I don't know exactly what the hype is with this card, but I heard it's a highly sought after card and Mr. Ortiz wants it. All right, guys, round one has officially completed and your boy is washed up. I lost round one. My opponent had weaklings don't deserve to live, tapping down my blocker and then just killing my rested 7k character into a 10 cost Kaido. So unfortunately, I got fucked. How did you do, Ben? I too got fucked. Hello, Bandai. Please give us access to the all-colored Luffy because this is not fun. Um, overall, what are your thoughts of this draft? Like, what, how do you feel about this format of this set? for a pre-release honestly i feel like the pre-release for maybe set two was probably a little better but so far i do like this uh pre-release set and i do like the cards that come with it i do feel like there's a lot of cool synergy and i feel like this set will in general make the card game more uh, fun that's fair honestly i would argue that the set two pre-release was way more fun and even the set three pre-release was more fun um, just because in this set all of your early game drops are really understated and there's a lot of cool cards that you just don't get to use because this format isn't allowing you to pick a card and pass it to the next person where you could build a bunch of like synergistic types of um, archetypes like the Don Quixote family. Uh, the one thing I do know about this draft is the keyword of the day was being leader locked. Someone would play down a character and then they would say, oh, sorry, it's leader locked. It's a three cost 5K, no effect. You know, and that really just opens the door to why are we still using this draft format where you just open six packs and you basically can't use any synergies from the packs. We're not even exploring the new mechanics from the set. And because there's so many like cool synergies and so many cards within each archetype, it really just sets things up to where if we were doing a traditional Magic the Gathering draft where we passed a pack to other people at the table, you could create some amazing synergies such as the Don Quixote family, such as the Alabasta or the Dressrosa archetype. And a tribal Dressrosa or Don Quixote family would be so fun to experience in draft because it would just add so much depth to the set and you would really get to explore the mechanics. So personally, that's something that I really hope gets implemented to the game because while it is fun to just, you know, experience the cards for the first time in a new way to play the game, it just feels like we got cheated out of being able to experience a lot of the fun things that are going on in this set. And I really hope that changes going forward. But because we both lost out in round one, we're going to do a pack opening with the man, the myth, the legend, Ben D. All right, Ben, we've got six packs here to open for you guys on the channel. And what are you hoping to get out of these, man? 
I'm hoping to get, you know, Manga Sabo, of course. But I am looking for blue cards, specifically the six cost event that just sends anything to the bottom. I love that card. If there's anything you guys need to know about Ben, is that his first introduction to the game uh, was when he entered the pre-release, and this was his first card game, and he opened a Manga Ace in his first set of cards which is honestly awesome, and then he proceeded to open a Manga Rare in the very next set in the form of Manga Soji King. So will Ben be the first person to go back-to-back-to-back -back -to -back mangas and see it here on Beast Bias's channel? Let's get right into it. Lao G, that's a fun one. Mr. Three Bon Clay. Oh. oh my god, this man's nice. Like that, like that, okay, I see you. Pretty good first pack. Let's go on to the next one. Let's see what we got going on here. I predict an alt art crocodile leader. Would love to see that, man. Baby five. Ooh, Diamante, that's a good card. And 10 cost Don Quixote Do Flamingo. My top card for this set. Um, definitely just a great card to have, right? What do you think about this card? It's an amazing card. Its ability is honestly broken, and just the fact that it's a 10K body is insane. In my opinion, this card should not even be in the game. I don't think you should be able to rest people's leaders, and I think it's going to have the most impact on the meta out of any other card. Let them know about the Altar Mafia, my guy. Altar Moth. Filler. Okay. okay, one playable card. Okay, we got a Capone Gang Beige. Three for three hollows, man. These are some loaded packs. The boy Ben D never misses. Capone Gang Beji, this card is extremely usable in the yellow deck. I think we're gonna see at least two copies of him going forward in most yellow decks in the future. Three for three on these hits, man. Looking really nice. Trafalgar Law. Gum Gum King, what the fuck is that? That's a good card. Usopp, I can read that upside down. Usopp, we Page know that's one. a bad card. Okay, page one. And, wow, four for four hollows. This man never misses. How do you do it like this? How do I become you? So what I do is I subscribe to Beats by Ash's channel, and I liked and commented on every video that he posts, and that is usually what gets me this look, not gonna lie. After that, I just start pulling fire. Yes, sir, that's what we like to hear. I've never, like, had an experience like you're having right now. Like, even if you don't pull anything else, like, these packs are just cracked. Viola. Lao Jeep. Never seen that guy before. Okay, like that. What the? Song. He's five for five hollows. How does he do it? You're literally rigging the packs. This is one box. All right, guys. Um, unfortunately, the store sold the rest of the box to other people, and those people will just not be having fun because this is the most insane pack opening I've ever seen. He's literally raiding the box. Just remember, guys, if you open your own packs and pull all rares, it's because of Ben D. Last pack magic. Let's see it. Event, oh, Giyot, Don Quixote, and a Rebecca, and a Treble. Last card is a Treble, and a Dawn. Bro, this man is literally insane. Six for six hollows. How do you do it? Like I said, like, subscribe, and comment. It beats by Ash's channel. One like on this video stops Ben D from raiding one of your packs. So make sure to smash the like button so you never miss another banger. Let's go, baby. What's up, guys? It's your boy Beats by Ash, and we are now on to um, our second pre-release of the weekend. Today is Sunday. If you're watching this video, then you know that we didn't so do so well in the first pre-release. But overall, um, my opponent just kind of sacked me. You can't always do so much since... You can't really affect the draft as much as you could in another game such as like Magic or Flesh and Blood, but that's why we're here today and hopefully you guys can um, see some gameplay in this one. We're at a place where it's a little bit easier for us to record and like, you know, not get too loud in there, so I'm hoping to record a couple of my games and overall I just hope you guys um, enjoy this video and if you aren't able to go to one, maybe this experience makes you feel more connected to the community. Let's get into the pre-release. Alright guys, we are officially at the board web game store where we're going to be holding the pre-release and I'm really excited to get into this because I'm gonna be trying a different strategy last time I went with kid this time I'm gonna be going with Zoro um, but ultimately it's more about you know all the people you get to hang out with today and this store is a lot more fun because there's a lot more space for me to record so looking forward to giving you guys some gameplay um, I do want to shout out the boy Michael make sure to go check him out where can we find you at uh, it's loading TCG bro 
I'm gonna be doing a lot more content with OP4, just more like commentary and gameplay and whatnot. So yeah, check me out. See, so look at this man. He has a top 32 mat, so that means he's just an all-around better player. Look forward to the loading TCG collab coming soon on the channel, and make sure to go check him out. You may see him in the rest of this video if he claps me up. <laughs> All right, we're here. I think that one actually. This is a chance table for sure. because they're either like I'm uh, gonna win or I'm gonna get clapped at this section of the table. Yeah. Dude, me, me and Mason. A little pack battle going on beast, beside this boost guy. Go ahead. Oh, four like Go ahead. Go five at you. Everything in your hand is Six. Go ahead. Four. Five. Five. Uh, first pair, go ahead. I got my daddy. Five below G. Seven to you. Seven to you. How'd your match go, Mike? It was good, dude. Yeah, I played Alex's brother, and they had a bounce. Oh, shit. Don minus two. Uh, here you go. Big Mom Jr. <laughs> I find it took your life too. Yeah. Yeah, 
play a blocker. Tap three, play a blocker. Tap four, play your shop. Thank you. <laughs> that was like oh, it has another effect. Five of you. Five of you. I'll tap ten. Play Diamante and play Roku, and then I'll pass to you. Do you want to use a trigger? No, I didn't have a trigger. Oh, okay. Yeah. We'll go nine. Ten. All right, guys. I end up clapping up side the sports guy, aka the cameraman, in the third round in order to get one more pack than him. How do you feel about me fucking up your daddy? Weaklings don't deserve to choose the way they die. It's such a fun and fair card. The mo dude, that's my most hated card now, just because of the pre-release. I mean, it just so happens that I have three of them in my deck. That's fun and fair, right? <laughs> no. But because I had more fun than you, we're going to let you open the pack. <laughs> All right, hold on. These are your cards. All right. This is size. Let's see it. Yokozuna. Pero Sparrow. Eight cost monkey. Queen. Oh, Nico Robin, I needed that. Okay. Kind of nice. Miss Super all, rare. Miss All Sunday. Yes, sir. That's a, is that a pricey card? No, it's not. It's a super rare. The alternate art is. But it's just my favorite card. Because I love me some Miss All Sunday. Okay. Let's, put, let's open yours. Let's Next pack. Another daddy. Okay, daddy control. What deck would he go in? East blue and what? Uh, he could go inside the Kuro deck, potentially. Pound? Kuro. Mr. 13 and Friday? Okay. Nami. Whatever that is. Duck Troops, Jack, Diablo Jambe, Mr. Five. Oh my God, that's an alternate art Rosinade. That's the second one we have. Let's go, okay. That looks insane. Okay, Black Maria. Stussy, Hound, Gorilla, Otama. Okay, new Otama, Coliseum, AIDS. Eric, the homie, a leader, Isho. Heavenly Fire and a Diamante. Okay, so honestly nothing too crazy, but we did end up getting the Alternate Rosinade, which is a pretty nice pull. And Miss All Sunday. How do you feel about this event overall? After playing in two and losing it's, bro, both it's times. Fun. It's fun. The problem is I, I don't I'm not too familiar with the game yet, so it's hard for me to it's, I'm just not good. It's just hard for you to win. Yeah, exactly. I'm not good. So Avery, but you've been fucking up people on the sim though. You just keep it up, man. 
Fuck the sim. <laughs> you like the sim, man. Don't you love how it's like automated and doesn't allow you to learn? I have to get the new version now, and I don't know how to do that, so. Oh, don't worry. You know, the, the new version, you just add it every two days. That's fine. So, I, I really, really have fun playing this in person, honestly. Same. Playing in person is the only way to go, and that's why if you aren't able to go in person, you got to keep up with Beats by Ash's channel because we're the only one out here consistently doing it in person at these events. And hopefully we'll be able to go to more coming soon. Facts. Um, honestly, I'm excited for the next set where we'll be getting a leader in the pre-release that everyone is required to use that just makes it extremely fun and fair because um, it just has no ability. So n everyone will just not be spamming Kid and Zoro. Overall, this event, honestly, I would say it's probably not as fun as set two or set three, but um, it's cool just to come out because this only happens you know, once every three months. All in all, I will say, um, I'm definitely going to be more excited for um, set five and that pre-release. I don't know how I feel yet about like the meta not really shifting because this set doesn't like imply a lot of like big impacts to the meta. But I am excited to check out um, some of the new cards with blue, purple crocodile, and as well maybe the purple yellow crocodile so if you guys are interested in that make sure to stay tuned on the channel some more content like that will definitely be coming soon thank you so much for getting this far in the video if you enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like button turn post notifications on and subscribe to the channel so you never miss another banger and as always if it's not the goo it's got to go peace Ooh, is that indigo